did you ever have fear of, well, I still struggle with mental health or, you know, I still don't feel like working out every day or I'm not the fittest person. So who am I to be teaching other people about this? Yeah. Um, back to your imposter syndrome question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, always, you know, but I finally got to a point, number one, yeah, imposter syndrome is a major thing. But then I just like, once I started to speak out and just be me and say, this is who I am, I've gained weight. I've lost weight. Everyone's like, oh my God, Karina like is heavier now. And then she lost it. And then, and it's, you know, just openly talking about it. Uh, you don't always have to be perfect. Even if you're this fitness superstar, you don't always have to be a fitness superstar. You just be you. But if you can motivate people, like for you. And what you do, you're not always in, I'm sure, in the right mindset. And neither am I. And I'm okay with that. But just to be able to break that silence and to be open that you don't always have to be perfect. And I am not here to be perfect. But I'm here to help others know that they don't have to feel the that they need to be perfect at all times. But together we can live our best life and support one another and pick each other up when one of us is down and vice versa. And Mm. I think that's so important. Yeah, what you shared about people just like critiquing your body of like, oh my God, Karina gained weight and and lost weight and just the social media world where you're putting yourself out there for people to just like critique and see you as not a human, you know? And sometimes I read comments and I'm like, do people not realize that's like, a human being who's going to be reading those and 